Carl Jung, which is an interesting psychologist, has once mentioned that the human consciousness actually lies in the subconscious, which is a very interesting and astute observation. And the interesting thing about this is that when it comes to decisions, worldviews, and philosophies, the more we go on with life, the more we try to make our decisions and philosophies more conscious and try to think about them deeply. So one of those subconscious tools that people build decisions and philosophies with is something I call the symbolic realistic axis, which speaks about how human humans actually make decisions and build their worldviews and philosophies. So the realistic side of the spectrum is when a human tries to build a decision based on a step-by-step -step basis. So I want to achieve Y, I do X to achieve Y. As opposed to the other side of the spectrum, which is the symbolic side. And what it means is that I want to achieve Y to portray some kind of symbol to others, for example. So you see this with money where people try to gain money in order to build the symbol of respect among others or in order to build the symbol of status for example so within the different varieties of decisions people actually make you'll see it tending towards one side of the spectrum or the other which is a very interesting tool to actually analyze decisions now this realistic symbolic access makes us reason about our decisions in a much clear-headed way because sometimes our decisions might actually be informed by a fake symbol for instance or a symbol that doesn't have a good foundation so seeing where the decision lies on that access as a first step and then analyzing why it's actually on that specific side of the spectrum is key when trying to approach the decision making process so if i'm trying to deconstruct the decision of whether to go to college or not okay so let's say i want to go to college to become a lawyer okay so that begs the question why do i want to become a lawyer so if it's leaning towards the realistic side of the spectrum, it would be something like I enjoy thinking about law, for instance, as opposed to if the decision was a symbolic one, it would be something in the lines of I want to actually prove to some family members that I can actually become a lawyer or society or whatever it is. So seeing where that decision actually lies on the axis, as we mentioned, is a pretty useful tool to actually analyze the sound decisions for the ones that are not. Now, what I want to say is that the more social the decision is, the more it's going to be leaning more towards the symbolic side of the spectrum. Because if I'm trying to make a decision between me and myself, there wouldn't be a lot of entities involved friends, family members, society, as opposed to other social decisions which are out there in the world, which have a lot of entities involved, which make it much more likely to be leaning towards the symbolic side of the spectrum, as we mentioned. Now, I want to take some time to say that either side of the spectrum, whether the realistic or the symbolic side of the spectrum, is not really necessarily good or bad. So you would have to assess that on a case-by-case -case basis. So in some situations, a symbolically informed decision might actually be optimal. And we see that with things like human respect. So the idea of taking a bullet for a friend, for instance, is a symbolic idea, but it's not necessarily bad because it reflects a lot of deep human values as opposed to other examples like the college example we mentioned where a realistically informed decision might actually be optimal. So really the benefit of the axis is to think more logically about our decisions and try to make conscious all the things that actually made the decision emerge. So this was our video for today. If you found this video beneficial, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you find this channel beneficial and see you next time.